Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be doing a mind map of cerebral palsy. But first, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it truly does help my channel reach more people. And if you are looking to print off all of these mind maps, please do go to my Etsy store. I will have it linked down below in the description and you can print them all off. So let's get started, guys. So cerebral palsy, what is it? So it is a condition caused by either damage to the brain or abnormal development of the brain. This damage normally occurs before birth or during the child's early development. Cerebral palsy is not normally progressive in nature, and it usually causes abnormal muscle tone and movement. So let's have a look at the signs and symptoms that cerebral palsy cause. So struggling with movement and balance and maybe unable to walk, struggling to speak, difficulty eating, drinking and swallowing, problems with their vision, pain, fatigue, epilepsy, um, learning disability, a display of uh, behavioral problems, incontinence, constipation, the unable to control their saliva, struggling to process information from their senses. Now, what causes cerebral palsy? Babies that are premature, neonatal encephalopathy. So this is caused by lack of oxygen to the brain during pregnancy or around the time of birth, stroke or bleeding in the baby's brain during pregnancy or after birth, infection during pregnancy or after birth, meningitis and head injuries. Now, how is cerebral palsy diagnosed? So your general practitioner will monitor the baby and they may also use an MRI. Now, cerebral palsy, it cannot be cured, but there is treatments that we can use to help. So physiotherapy, OT, speech therapy, orthotic, medications, and even surgery may be used to help treat the cerebral palsy. And I do and I do just want to note that cerebral palsy does not normally shorten the lifespan of a person. So that's all I have for this video, guys. I hope you did find it helpful in your studying, whether it's for your final exams or your NCLEX. Um, and if you are looking to print off all these notes, please do check out my Etsy store. I have lots on there and lots more are coming out every day. Um, I absolutely love these mind maps and that's why I'm posting them because this is how I got through nursing school and this is how I passed my NCLEX exam because I had these. Was, there's so much information that we learn in nursing school. So we need to compact it onto these one page mind maps um, and it's truly, truly a lifesaver. Um, so once again, that's all I have for this video, guys. I hope to catch you in my next one. Bye for now.